An out-of-state friend of Vanessa Marquez called the fire department to express concern about her well-being. The fire department then called police. Officers were dispatched to her home, which they found to be in extreme disarray due to hoarding conditions. Vanessa! I'm going to have to step on these back. She's returning to the store from her residence on the CMR Vanessa! Vanessa, it's the police! Police department, Vanessa! Are you okay? Officers found Marquez in bed. She told officers she was having a seizure. Vanessa! <laughs> Vanessa, are you okay? It's the police, Vanessa. It's the police! Seizure? She's having a seizure. She's having a seizure. Okay. 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 We're just making sure you're okay. Paramedics and a mental health clinician were summoned to assist. They arrived a few minutes later. Officers, a paramedic, and the clinician calmly spoke with her for about 30 minutes about her medication and physical and mental health situation. Vanessa, uh, you're, uh, everybody's concerned uh, for your safety. So, well, they called us from uh, the, they called us and they sent us over here to check up on you. So you understand my concern that you have seizures and you're in your house by yourself having seizures. You understand that that's a huge concern for me? You taking your medication? When was the last time you saw your doctor? Last week, and did they adjust your medication? Had you had seizures before that, or was that the first time? Yeah. So you have a history of seizures. Some of her responses were unintelligible. Ultimately, the mental health clinician and officers determined she needed to be hospitalized. Vanessa, I'm going to read you something, okay? So my name is Officer Carrillo. I'm a peace officer with South Pasadena PD. You are not under criminal arrest, but I am taking you to an examination by a mental health professional at Huntington Memorial Hospital. You will be told your rights by the mental health staff. You, you may bring a few personal items with you, which I will have to approve. Please inform me if you need any assistance turning off any appliances. We'll help you out. Okay, so you're not under criminal arrest, but you... But you are coming with us. We're placing you on a 5150 hold, okay? Oh God, no. As as gravely disabled and a danger to yourself, okay? I'm not going. I'm not going. Uh, we've we've already had this discussion, and it's well, it's beyond that now, okay? I'm not going. That's when Marquez first grabbed a pair of scissors from her purse and then a handgun. Wait, 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 wait! Oh shit! Got a gun! Got a gun! Got a gun! Got a gun. In an effort to de-escalate the situation, officers backed out to provide time and space, retreating down a staircase to a common area. They called to Marquez repeatedly to surrender peacefully and pleaded with her for compliance, a de-escalation technique. Okay? 
The shooting occurred a short time later when Marquez emerged from the apartment and advanced down the staircase toward the officers with the weapon in her hand. Vanessa! Vanessa! Everyone's clear from the apartment. Subject barricaded with the... Listen, Vanessa, Vanessa, come out with your hands up first! Vanessa, just... Drop the gun! Vanessa! Put your hands up! No gun, okay? She have a gun? Vanessa! Drop what's ever in your hand! Here's a slowed down version of the video. Look in the upper left corner and you can see the gun. In this magnified screenshot, you can see the gun is pointed forward and down the stairs. Because body-worn cameras are worn on officers' chests, the angle of the camera prohibits viewers from seeing everything the officers saw and experienced. The gun was recovered at the scene and it was later determined to be a replica.